Dandelion Song here. This is part 26 of the short series of the Pope visit, and this is about September 26 when he is in Philadelphia. And I'm ta right here I'm talking about this 266th episode of The Simpsons because this episode has a lot of counting up and counting down numbers in it, and it has um, there a lot of other interesting numbers in it too. And this day, September 26th in Philadelphia, has a lot of 123s and 321s, counting up and counting down numbers. And this um, Simpson episode uh, is the 266th episode, and I talk about some of the other numbers here. But it ties together um, dismemberment, cutting off the thumb of Homer, um, fires and disasters and um, other kinds of things like that. So at the time I was looking at this for predictive programming to try to understand what they might have plans. And it was filmed April 29th, 2001, before the Twin Towers. And it has a lot of fire and explosion and mayhem in it. And also counting up and counting down. Uh, so this is the episode of The Simpsons. It's the 266th episode of The Simpsons. And um, uh, the reason why I, I decided to take a look at this is because not only was it the 266th episode, but it was also um, released on April 29th, 2000. One and so that's a 9/11. The 29th is a ni is an uh, nine and an 11, and it's in 2001. And it does have three kinds of mayhem, and it has it follows three characters through uh, lots of mayhem. There's lots of fire. There's lots of counting up, counting down, um, dismemberment, explosions, and just basically trouble. So I um, oh there's also skull and bones numbers in here just on and on. It's just, you know, Simpsons kind of mayhem. If you'd like to check this out, you can come to this website, Animex, A-N-I-M-M-E-X dot com, and put this The Simpsons. I would put S, capital S, 12 into the search box. Every time I put the whole thing in, it can't find it. And then you just search all of season 12 to find the 18th. This episode is a little bit like the, the episode of the little um, alien child. There's a lot of visual codes like brownie and fireworks and the newspaper and the clocks and um, a lot of things that have gematria. It's kind of like an object is, is like playing a role of a, of a gematria character. So I guess there isn't a picture, at least here, of the lectern that, we, that Lincoln used for the Gettysburg Address, but I wanted to just uh, show you real quick that um, here he's talking about now we are engaged in a great civil war testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure we are met on a great battlefield of that war um, and now I know the civil war you know was taught to us wrong and all wars have been misrepresented but I'm wondering the reason you know what is the symbolic reason for uh, the Pope to use this lectern you know maybe he just wants to you know, be a part of history or something. But I do believe that we are right now in the middle of a great and deep civil war just within our country. We have a positive and a, we have a civil war in our military. We have a positive and a negative military. I think we do have positive and negative uh, star people on the ground. We have positive and negative Illuminati. And so I kind of wonder if this is what, if this is what he's getting at by using this lectern. He's acknowledging this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. So they have a... Oh, they. you can listen to it here too on the Wikipedia. So this was after the Battle of Gettysburg, July 1st through 3rd, 1960, or 1863. So this would be a 9, a 9-9. Nine, nine. The other symbolic tie-in to Lincoln here that the Pope might be pointing to is that there are number mirrors and esoteric ties between Obama and Lincoln, and of course Obama has mentioned Lincoln many times. Uh, one thing that seems like Lincoln did that people didn't learn about in school was that he put federal government rights over states' rights. And uh, that's kind of not how America is supposed to be. 
And so a lot of some some people wonder that if that's Obama's bench too, is that he's basically telling um, the states that he will defend the union over the state's rights. So something to think about. Also that uh, Abraham Lincoln was assassinated and there are a lot of indications, a lot of ties, a lot of mirrors, um, symbolism predicting that the numbers indicate that that is what they're going to do to Obama, whether it's a real assassination or a fake assassination or what kind of hoax or to what degree it'll be misrepresented remains to be seen. All right, well, before we leave this place, let's just take a look at the coordinates of the Liberty Bell and notice the 9-11 that's down here in the, in the seven, after the 75 degrees. Also, there's a 23, of course, because the, the W is a 23. This building, the heading to the right, going to the right is 100 degrees, 100 maybe 0.47 possibly, and to the left is 277.77 degrees precisely. All right, well, a quick note, I pulled it out in the 277.77 degree in a very, very closely matched this Hoover Dam. I accidentally didn't put it all the way on there. All right, so this is gonna be the end of part 26. Hang, um, please join us for part 27 and we'll go more into the Hoover Dam and um, it's just uh, pretty interesting to realize that these buildings have so many tie-ins and I feel like th these are the things that we need to know these are the things that we need to share with our um, families our brothers and sisters people in our social media just to bring everybody along and um, kind of advance everybody's perspective all right see you in the next time bye, -bye.